a budding filmmaker in the family? Are you looking for a kid's camp for an aspiring young actor? Well, the library has you covered. The summertime brings all kinds of cool programs for all ages. Teens had a chance to learn about film production in a free camp with Novak. And we're at the Zachary Branch to find out what's going on. Let's check it out. Scene 19, take two. Novak, three, the New Orleans yeah. Video Access Center, is a nonprofit organization that aims to help folks in the filmmaking and industry. And this is the military equivalent of, oh my gosh, look over there! Clay with Novak took time during our visit to introduce the group and explain why they hold programs just like this one. Novak's regular purpose is to train adults for jobs in the film industry. And they've been doing that in New Orleans since the 70s and they recently got, last couple of years, got an office in, the, in Baton Rouge. And so one of the things that it can do besides just give work, free workshops for adults to train in the film industry is to reach out and hopefully inspire the next generation of filmmakers and film industry professionals by uh, doing programs for kids. And that's exactly what this was. Kids in the Zachary community got to enjoy a free film-inspired summer camp at their local branch library. For many, it was their first exposure to filmmaking. I wondered, what did you learn? Um, that filmmaking takes a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, I thought it only took like maybe an hour, like a day, but it takes a long time just to shoot like one scene is takes forever the point every week is to make a short film so we start off and I, I start off by showing them a couple of short films and talking about short film structure and film structure in general we talk about all the different jobs that there are on a movie set which there are a ton mm -hmm. and uh, then we come up with a short story. So this year is the two, uh, the bicentennial of Baton Rouge. And so they we're doing something about the history of Baton Rouge. We had one group do something about Huey Long, and one group do, do something about the Battle of Baton Rouge, the Revolutionary War Battle. And so they've, they're, yes. they picked different things. Um, but we will create a short film story. We then film the story and then by the end of the week, if we've done, done, done our jobs in a timely fashion, we uh, show them a little bit of the editing process while we're editing together their story. But, and then at the end of the week, though, they've made a short film. In the short time I was there to film this report, I could just feel the energy in the room. All the kids got a chance to be hands-on with professional film and audio equipment. It was awesome. And it was all at the library. I think they could learn these skills any number of places. Um, I think that it's special that it happens through the library because it's one more sort of incredible thing that your library can offer. And um, what I like about doing it at the library is I get to give them information and then they have access to it. Right, if I say, oh wait, they did that shot in a movie, there's a good chance their library has that movie and they can check it out. They have books about filmmaking in the library. Um, so they, they're in a place that, that they can then go and f have further resources to further educate themselves if something tickles their interest. Yeah. It'll help me like, recognize um, like all the different parts. I'm recognized, but it'll help me like, know everything about filmmaking and so maybe I can make my own movie and star in it one day. And also it's just fun to know. What an awesome program. There's tons of fun happening at your East Baton Rouge Parish Library. To find out what's coming up next, pick up a copy of our monthly newsletter, The Source, or visit us online at www.ebrpl.com. The filmmaking summer camps continue across the library system. Visit your local library branch to check out their calendar. Registration for these programs are required. Mary? Thanks, Kayla. I've already seen the first three short films, and I was especially pleased to see that they incorporated the Baton Rouge Bicentennial theme into their scripting. Good work. Can't wait to see the rest of them.